Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to alter an envelope with crayons, coffee, distress inks, and some stamps. This idea is originally from Coffee and Crafts with Rory. I will leave her channel linked below. So let's get started. Since I wanted to do something slightly different, I sketched a heart with some wings. Next, you will get a sharpener and just start sharpening those crayons and you will get crayon shavings. So the crayon shavings, you will shape it around the heart. Next up, you will need tissue paper. And the tissue paper, use the gloss side up facing you. Your iron should be nice and warm, not too hot. So you could start ironing and the crayon will start melting. So wait a few seconds and lift the tissue paper up. I again place it down because I want to remove the crayon, but not the coloring, like you want the pigment to stay. And I did repeat this process, but I used two cleans of tissue paper after this one. Now it's time to repeat the same process with the wing. In this step, I'm just going to stain it with the coffee and a foam brush. You can help the envelope dry out faster by using the iron on top with the tissue paper or simply with a heat tool. Now it's time to use some stamps. I did get this stamp from Amazon. This is pretty lettering. So I'll leave that link below if you're interested. So I added an outline to the heart with a silver sharpie. I felt like it needed some definition. So here's where I added all the ink sprays. There really was no rhyme or reason. I just wanted to define more color and for the heart to stand out more. So I just sprayed three different colors and had fun.
For the final step, I inked the edges for that H look. And this envelope is pretty much done. I really enjoyed the way it came out. It was very pretty. I love the styling and I definitely love the mixed media approach of stamps, crayons, and ink sprays. I'm also thinking of doing one with the continent, the actual world map, and see how that works out. So tell me what you think below. Give this video a like and thank you for watching. Until next time, and God bless.